Hello guys, welcome back to Black Desert Mobile new update review guys in uh, this update we got uh, more class balances a lot of classes they got buffed guys you're gonna see if uh, your class also did I know my class did uh, we're gonna check this out also some more improvements and some really cool events you're gonna see so let's start first with the class balances okay so let's see what they have to say and then we're gonna have a short review of those classes so uh, in black desert mobile while we added variety of classes we also consistently made balance changes so that our adventurers could choose classes suitable to their own playstyle in this update we have focused on classes where it has been a while since the release uh, or have a lack performance compared to classes that have been recently updated. We have increased the PvP damage to improve this lack in performance. Currently we are planning to continue balancing adjustment by analyzing the situation from various perspectives including PvP damage and performance of, uh, in each piece of content. In case of some classes the character efficiency was maximized with the combat resource resources increased effect and they showed ex excessively powerful performance so we felt to the need to create some balance between class regarding this so yeah so one of the class Zayed so he got buffed as you can see there's a shadow cooldown reduction from 5 to, uh, to 4 seconds improve the duration to reset upon skill to, to uh, using two skill during black shake improve the evasion cooldown Decrease by 0.5 seconds, improve the combo in evasion for the Paradise Surge. Sanova improved the combo into evasion and condemnation. Then Drakania improved the combo with Warpower Trust. Wings of Ruins improved the bypass target forward guard by 66% instead of 30. That's a lot. Improve the apply forward guard for 1.5 seconds while charging the skill during the Ionic Overflow. Ionic Charge added PvP damage taken minus 5% for 10 seconds to apply during ionic charge the effect is applied to 200% during ionic overflow then destroyer adjust the pvp damage as you can see it's increased for funeral blast uh, for also slug slugfest bombardment so mainly pvp damage for destroyer we're gonna check titan titan adjusted again the pvp damage uh, oh just this funeral blast i don't even use this one and i play mostly pv so yeah that's all for sadly for titan lupa adjusted pvp damage for divine roar compaction back and call back and call not back and call. anyways then corsair adjusted pvp damage so pvp damage increase for judgment of the sea descending tide flying wave let's see buccaneer descending tide adjusted pvp damage so pvp damage increased grandmaster again adjusted increased pvp damage for hell sweep gale force shoulder thrust so nice okay grandmaster got three yacha also for gale, uh, gale force succession skill adjusted to increase pvp damage when this even you see adjusted mainly right now it's increased phantasm traumatic burst increased pvp damage for also dark cleave umbral pillar eclipse okay also she got lots of skills well Phant phantasm that's mainly pvp guys so pvp for all the classes huh? Uh, Primrose, Absolute Zero, Increase PvP Damage, Petal War, Word, Frost Halo, then Kunoichi, Increase PvP Damage for Touch of Dead, Rain of Steel, Cripple, uh, and Eclipse, Royal Fetching, Repost, Increase PvP Damage, Royal Fencing, Lunge, Royal Fencing, Trust, uh, then Nova, Increase PvP damage for Royal Fencing Repost, Royal Fencing Lunge, Void Knight, Fury of Kama Sylvia, Increase PvP damage, Eclipse, Increase PvP damage, Obsidian, Ashes, Umbral Pillar, Fletcher, Adjust, Increase PvP damage for Keep Away, 
Circle of Thorns, Jackpot, Volley of Reckoning. Man, it keeps on going. Also, Archer, Circle of Thorns, Invoker, Pure Surge, Cataclysm, Gigavolt, Frigid Fog, Archmage also, PP damage for Blizzard, Fireball, Frigid Fog, Meteor Shower, Combustion, wow, all the skills, Power Surge, Gigavolt, so the most. One of the class that got the most buffs is Armage, ok. Letanas improve the role to evade without imputing directional keys after using Tectonic Slam, Doombringer and Dragonflight. Void Knight change the description magic activation of Fury of Kalmasilia to be clearer. Improvements. Crafting recipe recipes. For a Dolic Downwell Gear, as you can see. So you can craft a Dolic Downwell gear guys using the chaos one uh, add the crafting recipe to that use a dolly chaos gear as material to a dolly downwell gear the crafting recipe are available from craft armor chaos gear convert blah blah can use and also craft receipt for chaos downwell slash downwell gear Quest story improve the to move the location near it. Okay. Also, uh, item description like for the chaotic crystals, you can see the maximum attack and defense and stats you can get. UI game tips, things like that. Okay. Let's check the events. And we got in the pearl shop outfits Tijan Red for Striker and Sura. These are really nice. Okay. I think last time we have it for Titan. Okay, let's check the events. Let's see what we got in the mail. Okay, some hot time, restoration, and Vox. And let's see the events. So, guys, mainly class balances this update and some cool events like. The Black Spirit Adventure is back guys. The only problem guys that I found like lately, not lately, it's like a while ago. We cannot farm the dices like we used to before. Uh, for the new players before guys, we could farm the dice fragments. Just they were dropping from farming, wherever you're farming, that didn't matter. And that way we could get hundreds and hundreds, even thousands of dices. So that was really nice because we could get lots of rewards. Right now they changed after like maybe more than one year back to the only way to get the dices is from events like this, like this one. And the dice event, by the way, let's see, it's for how long? Uh, okay, two weeks weeks so right now the only way to get the dice is from this dice daily dice mission plant in the garden spend stamina defeat enemies if in 10,000 enemies already did that we get 10 fragments no they are dice not fragments okay die these are dice pieces 50 and dice pieces 30 so that's another eight dice so 18 dice guys Plant in the garden nine times, spend stamina. Let me go to the garden and plant really fast because I for I will forget. <laughs> At least it's something easy. So uh, I don't know if okay, I know what I'm gonna do one second. Okay. Auto plant, there you go. So now we have this one also, spend stamina, I'm gonna do that also. So that's how you can get and how many we said how many dice is the 10 18 18 per day it's a decent amount so as you can see right now we have 16 we need to get two more i think and what are the the lap rewards guys 20 shadows for each lap and for more laps we do we get five laps 10,000 uh, stamps for 10, 2 of this, for 15 laps, 10,000 restoration, 
20 laps to go boss rush and I'm gonna see what's the best in another video the best uh, rewards you can get because you have the golden one uh, but I see it here some really nice rewards like root of sorcery rice scrolls I like this ones tangle time magical essences okay so they are not bad okay uh, we have also today I am the fishing master for one week and between 12 and 12 10 20 so for 20 minutes and 19 0, 0 to 19 20 fishing time every day and you should do that every day because exchange the fish for reward during the event other rewards are one time or max exchange per day that's the max max amount of exchanges guys so I don't think it's daily because it would be nice to get doesn't well this should say in here if it resets every day it says max exchanges so I don't think it's a daily thing because to get daily this one will be nice I hope is daily so let me know guys is is it daily today I'm the fishing mass I don't like the fishing events anyways but you can get out of glory entries course pirate and tangle time and another event for two weeks to the dark lands so you have to participate in night of vengeful souls and black sun you can see right there the schedule this one can complete can be completed only once so uh, one second so they can be completed only once and you obtain those items from doing the My night of vegetable souls and the black sun guys and you can get two tickets for black shrine and two purify waters okay you have uh, you have two weeks to complete this one, so it's okay. You, it's enough time, guys. Uh, it doesn't reset weekly or... Okay, so yeah. There is only one time you can collect the rewards. And this one, for this week, also we still have. I already claimed this again. This one also for another week. Okay, so those are the new... Guys, those are the new events let's see if we got a new lucky shop or something uh, i don't think this is the old one no? well i didn't try this but actually i did try it on the new account i think yeah it has some nice rewards in there uh i might try it again <laughs> okay so you saw also the new costumes so this is is not a huge update it's mainly for class balances, uh, the event is nice, the dice event, always nice event. So, till next video guys, see you and bye.